Uh, before we start, I'd like to just say uh, I, I dedicated this game uh, to my granddad. You know, my mom, uh, dad just died on Tuesday, so that's I dedicated this game to him. I just wanted to say that. Questions for players. How do you take that on the field? I mean, obviously, it means a lot to you. I, I believe that just give me a, that just give me more fuel. You know, uh, football is great, but it's, it's life after football. You know, my family uh, they, they're in a rough time right now. You know, everybody's grieving, and uh, you know I just play for them, and uh, I played I played, and they played through me as well. How much did it help to have kind of the support from your team and to know that they've been with you and they're through this? With you? Uh, you know, my teammates are amazing. You know, I wouldn't trade them for for nothing in the world, and. Uh, we created this bond in the in the spring and the summertime, and uh, it's continuing on through the games we play, through the tough battles we go through. Did you find your granddad's from here? Yeah, my, 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 yeah, my granddad, he, he, he was born in Mississippi, but he's from Miami, yes. Yeah. So what about for you guys, this game? It's kind of frustrating for the offense. I mean, How about for you guys? but you don't know what to expect going to any game, so... We know they're going to have their job, whether they score or don't score. So we just got to do our job, and that's keep the uh, opponent out of the end zone. That's all we can do. We just got to do our part. You guys together made a huge play at the end of the game. Can, can we discuss that a little bit? I was tired. You know, we had to go back in and make uh, another big stop. You know, we've been in these situations before. Uh, I did nothing amazing, really just did my assignment, did what I was supposed to do, and he came away, and I just happened to make the play. Uh, on that play, I, I seen uh, the running back, and he uh, he was about he was he started uh, left, then he he came back right, and I was coming down to make the tackle. I don't know where the ball just spit out. You know, I tried to scoop it, and uh, I mishandled it, uh, and jumped on it afterwards. Talk about the excitement you guys are creating on the defensive side, on the sideline, with the turnovers and the turnover chain, and you know. Today and, right. Yeah. Uh, sorry, campaign for Sports Center top ten. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with that, the chain. Uh, uh, we made that big, like to get turnovers this year. A lot of turnovers and the chain. That just it just adds excitement. It adds excitement and it's just fun. So when we get a turn, we just have fun. We just having fun on our defense. Period. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically just to tag along with that. Uh, you know, the chain. The chain makes us. Want to get more turnovers? You, you get what I'm saying? It's a it's a reward for us after after we uh, go out there and make a play. So uh, I think it was a great idea to get that on our sideline. Are you guys aware of what's going on around the country? Like how people are tweeting it all over the place, and um, that, you know they're they're putting it on national TV constantly. People are wearing t-shirts and all different types of turnover chains in the stands. And yeah, that's 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 that that's Miami. You know, uh, with with trendsetters, uh, with that tra with that chain, everybody wants to. Being in Miami, and when we brought that chain out, it just shows you how Miami is. All righty. Thank you, guys. No problem. Thank you.